Oh man. Hey guys, sorry, I'm late. I had to go put my Crocs on. Uh, what's up guys? Right here, I have returned your boy, the prodigal son, triumphant once again. I am back. I apologize for the long hiatus between making videos, but man, I've been swamped fulfilling the tens of orders that you guys have been placing for these t-shirts. Now seriously, we, su we support the appreciate. We appreciate all the support that you guys have shown by ordering our stuff. It's super humbling that anybody would even spend a penny on what we do here, let alone their hard earned cash to represent this brand that we care about so much. And we're glad that you guys believe in it, I think as much as we do. So again, thank you so much. What are we here to talk about today? What has taken me so damn long to do this video? I don't have an excuse for you. It's just who I am as a person, all right? So just deal with it. Check it out. I'm here to educate you, son. MSD Performance has sent me over this. This is a four channel solid state relay module. This replaces four of these, your standard Bosch style relays. And it also replaces all those ugly wires, you know, those little clip on things, the relay harnesses that are like, yellow, green, blue, black, and white. Just dumb looking. Turns it under, under the dash of your car into a damn rainbow. This replaces all of that in one very tidy little package. And because it's solid state, there's no moving parts or latching mechanisms in here to fail and weld together. And because it's solid state, you can pulse width modulate this thing such as for nitrous solenoid control. Now the folks over at MSD did tell me that they don't think it'll respond fast enough to, to pulse width modulation if you're going to be using it for trans brake control, like as a bump box or staging control. They're not sure that it would be quick enough for that. I may test that theory out on my car just to see, you know, for science. Um, but if it's super violent, then obviously I'm not gonna do that. I do have the relay that you're supposed to use for that in the car, ready to go. But I need to find something to do with this. So here's what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna put it in the car. I'm probably gonna use it to turn on my street pump as well as the fans that control and cool the uh, transmission cooler and the fuel cooler for the drag week car. It is mountable utilizing these little blocks, which are, again, extremely modular. These things snapped on here like Legos, and it lets you configure this to suit your application, and you can turn these 90 degrees and mount it the other way. So how do you hook it up? Once we got it mounted in the car using the provided mounting hardware, this is so simple. 12 volt positive into here, and then you hook these up to each individual channel. Now, each one of these channels are rated at 20 amps. Well, Roy, you just said it replaces this thing, which is a 40 amp solenoid relay. Bosh, blah, 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 blah. Look, dude, check it out. You can bridge the channels together. So you can bridge all of these together and have 80 amps of continuous output power. This is built in circuit protection and thermal protection. These LED indicator lights down here are going to tell you when that circuit is on and active. It's also gonna tell you when there is some sort of a fault. It will automatically shut off the circuit if it is overloaded, whether you ground out the wire or something like that or the component fails. And if it trips the internal circuit breaker, it's going to trip it and it's not gonna let you turn it back on until you shut it off and fix the problem. So we've hooked up the battery, we've hooked up the components. How do we trigger these things? You can trigger these with 12 volt positive or ground. The choice is yours, okay? I'm not gonna judge. It's 2019, it's a progressive world. You can do whatever you want. So all you gotta do is hook up battery, components, one little ground, and then whatever triggers you want. You can trigger this utilizing aftermarket engine management systems, EFI systems. You can trigger it with switches, whatever you want. The choice, the world is your oyster, guys. This thing is awesome. $154 over at MSD. Head over there at msdperformance.com. Right there. And get yourself one if you're interested. I like it. I can't wait to get this in the car because there's some ugly ass relays in the back of this thing and some wiring that I want to tidy up. And that's where we're at with the Drag Week project right now. We are on the wiring phase and I am not a fan of wiring, but it's mandatory, it must be done. Logan is over there crushing it in the wiring department on that RX-7 and making us all look bad. So I'm not even gonna do a video or show anything with what's going on under the hood of this thing. But that is all coming. Uh, we've got other updates coming. Again, thank you to you guys, the fans. Head over to clapdot.com slash store. Give us a like, comment, share, subscribe on Facebook and YouTube. We appreciate all the support. Support the companies that have supported us 
MSD Performance, Holly, EFI, Brian Tooley Racing, all of the above. We appreciate it. Everything. It's all love. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.